Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Luz. It's holiday today. It's Victoria Day. So we're enjoying a mini picnic over here. We have McDonald's, of course. In a few days, we will be taking our CELPIP. It's an English language exam. It's an alternative to IELTS. We've heard that CELPIP is easier than IELTS because it's just computer-based. So we'll take CELPIP instead of IELTS. If you don't know yet, an English language exam is a requirement if you're planning to apply for a permanent residency here in Canada. Take note that the validity of CELPIP or IELTS is only two years. So you have to plan on when are you going to take it because if you will apply for a PR and it's already expired, then you have no choice but to retake the exam. Our original plan was to go to either Vancouver or Prince George and take the exam there at the end of this year, December, around December, so that we can maximize the validity of the exam. But fortunately, CELPIP partnered with a local organization here in our town. So they will be coming here next week for only two days. We decided to just take it now, even though we're not that prepared. Because we will be able to save a lot of money when it comes to travel expenses. We can avoid the flight tickets and hotel accommodations or gas expenses because gas is so expensive right now. Yeah. As I mentioned, we're not prepared but let's see. We have an English only policy this week. We're not allowed to speak Tagalog. It's so hard because we still speak Tagalog. It's, it's our first language and sometimes we couldn't express ourselves in in English, especially if we're mad at each other. <laughs> well, we're trying our best and I hope we can get a high grade in self-pip. By the way, it's $280 plus tax, so around $290, $297, something like that. Since there's two of us, so it's almost more or less $600. Good luck. So we will just enjoy Victoria Day. This is our second Victoria Day here. One week later. We're done with our exam and you need to be here like 45 minutes before yeah. your exam. We were rushing earlier that that's why we couldn't film and I even forgot on how to put my eyebrows. Look at me, I look like an alien. <laughs> what can you say? Um I don't know actually but I think that like what you said we nailed the the writing the listening the, the reading the reading part however for the speaking part I, I don't know I'm just rambling random things and I feel like I don't know why it was so hard I want the floor to swallow me <laughs> I feel like I'm talking nonsense. Me too. I was also not really buckling, but what, what am I saying? What did I say? Yeah. My goodness. It's, it's so nerve-wracking when it comes to the speaking. There are parts that are quite um, challenging, but it's manageable as compared to the speaking part. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So difficult for the speaking part. So it's good that we're done with it. We're yeah. just gonna wait for the results. How many days before we get the results? Four to five days to Four get to our results. Days. I hope that we will both pass. Mm. <laughs> I hope so. I think there's no failing grade. Um, it's you just know. lower grade. I hope we get at least eight. Highest grade is 12 though. Oh, we're not allowed to say anything. We signed a non-disclosure agreement. We can't say anything about the exam on any platform even with conversation mm -hmm. because if they find out they will revoke the and they will invalidate our test yeah it seemed so fast but it was three hours yeah it was three, three hours. hours but when you're there it's like you don't have enough time mm -hmm. but again <laughs> we're done oh, sigh yeah. of relief yeah. anyway what should we do now i think we should eat you know, we should eat so that we will forget. If you look at me, I really look like an alien. You're no, a beautiful I alien. <laughs> okay. 
good answer. Good answer. <laughs> okay. So in a few days, we will be receiving the result. And if we can share it with you, of course, we'll share it with you. Several days later. Hi guys. So it's been four days since we took our exam. And we got the results via email and also via text. I did not get high grades. So I guess it's fine. It's good enough for me. For listening, I got eight. For reading, I got eight. For writing, I got nine. And for speaking, I got 10. But for Oji, he's so smart. He got very high scores. He got one perfect. What's your score on listening? 11. 11. For reading? 12. 12, that's the perfect score. For writing? 10. 10. And for speaking? <laughs> he got nine for speaking, but I think that's a very good grade. If you want to repeat it, it's fine. You can do so before you apply for PR. It's up to you. But you have to pay again for the for the exam. So this is how the score report looks like. I just covered up those confidential information. It should be colored, but I just printed it in black and white. You have your photo your registration number and of course your scores here is my score and this is uh, Oji's scores just a tip if you want to avoid um, travel expenses check the Siltip website if they will be having like an exam in your area that way you will save a lot also practice 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 it helped. I think it helped. Even our roommate is speaking in English. <laughs> Sorry, Jasper. <laughs> she was forced to speak in English. <laughs> if it's your turn for the selfie, we will also speak in English for you so that you can practice. But I know you will get higher grades than us. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this, please... <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> I'm not sure they like it. If you like this, just give this a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Till next time. Bye! Bye.